Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showcasing the best free software and textures for 3D modeling and making games, and also some links to helpful Unreal Engine 4 tutorials like what I do. A lot of the links to these will be in the description down below, as well as timestamps, so make sure you check the description to find out what you want and where it is in the video. Now all of these softwares and websites are completely free to use in commercial projects as they have the CC0 license at the time of recording this, although it is always best to double check if they are still free to commercially use as they can sometimes change the license. You don't want to risk illegally using their textures or anything as this may lead to a lengthy fine or other legal intervention, which will also look bad on your reputation. But as long as it is still free, I shall continue. So first of all, I'll start with video tutorials on Unreal Engine 4, some being from official Unreal Engine creators and some being outsourced, although they are all extremely good, especially the official creators. But if you can't find what you want there, always remember to check out my channel too. So this is good advice for beginners and experts and everything in between in Unreal Engine. So when you click the link, you'll be asked to log in with your Epic Games account, and this is because if you didn't know, Epic Games owns Unreal Engine, and you need an account so it can track which courses you've completed. And once you've logged in you'll be met with the dashboard here like so and from here you can go to the content library on the left here and choose which course or lesson you want to do. Now I would recommend going for the a tour of a new Real Engine learning portal first then the introducing the principles of real time which is two parts and this gives you a really good insight into rendering to get a general idea of how the engine works then the real time rendering fundamentals which is the second part. After that I'd recommend the introducing Unreal Engine then the Unreal Editor fundamentals editor introduction then the getting started in Unreal Engine. After that your first hour with Unreal Engine and then comprehending projects and file structure then building better pipelines followed by blueprints, essential concepts, and then post-processing essentials, then introducing global illumination, and then lighting, essential concepts and effects, then intro to the material editor, getting to know materials for design visualization, then materials, exploring essential concepts, and finally, your first style with UMG. After that, you should be very comfortable with using Unreal Engine 4, however, this can take a while and may not be for everyone, so if your learning style is more to just watch quick videos when you need them, then stick around on my channel and check out my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial playlist. And so to find all these, just go down here, or you can search them up here but they there is a wide variety of courses on this website. Then you also have your achievements and the help down here, which is straightforward enough. Now we're gonna have a look at some software and these are in no particular order. The first piece of software being the obvious Blender. So I'll just go out of Chrome here, go down to Blender, and this is what it looks like. Blender is a great software for 3D modeling. I have some videos where I use Blender and I use it to create all of my 3D models. So once you open up, you just hit general and then you can mess about in here with anything. You can delete this, you can get a circle or a sphere, you edit mode there, press tab, move that up, or if you want you can even get a monkey, like so. Then again the obvious of Unreal Engine, so you can go down here, new project, all of these. And again, this is the game engine that I use. I've done tutorials on how to do certain things in Unreal Engine 4, and I'd recommend you check them out. So when starting a project, you'll be greeted with this screen, and you can pick loads of different templates for blueprints, which is like pseudocode, or C++, which is obviously the actual coding language. And let's say you were going to start in a third-person template, so you'd find it on here. There you go. And you can choose where you want to have it, what you didn't call it, if you want it on desktop or tablet or mobile, the quality of it, and if you want to start the content or not, and then you just hit create project. And then once that template's loaded, you'll be greeted with a screen like this, you can hit play, and there's already the basic fundamentals done, like the walking and the jumping and the camera. And then from here on, you can just start with whatever you want. So for example, the character, open this blueprint, and this is what the coding looks like, it's pseudo code like this, so it's very simple and easy to understand. So another game engine is Unity, which I'll open now. I have used this, and I've made a game for a game jam in it, which you can see here. However, I just prefer how Unreal is laid out and how it feels, and I use that one more than Unity. Also, Unity uses C Sharp code, which I'll show you here. I'm going to my scripts folder, open any one of these from my game that I made. Open this, it looks like this. This is just a simple dialogue trigger. It's just the basic code that you would expect to see. If I open a more complex one, which is the character movement, let this load up. And here we are, so this is more complex code that you'd expect to see. So if you don't know C Sharp or you just prefer pseudo code, I'd recommend going for Unreal Engine. But if you do know C Sharp, I'd recommend Unity because obviously you get a lot more freedom with what you want to do. Although you can also use C Sharp in Unreal Engine as well. Now the third piece of software is Spacescape, which allows you to create your own custom skyboxes for your games. For example, you can import it into Unreal Engine. So you go on the website, it looks like this, and you can watch these videos on how to use it and you just download it. Then there's also Materialize, which allows you to turn your own images into textures, meaning it's now easier to create your own photorealistic textures. So again, you just go on here, 
and you download it. Now let's move on to some websites. Again, these are in no particular order. The first website is freesound.org, which I definitely recommend as I use it quite often myself. Some of the sounds on here, however, can't be used for free commercially, so just make sure to double check before you use the audio. So if we just search for dog on here, then we get dog toy, like that, or your dog bark. If we say we want to use this in our game, we click on it, here it says, this work is licensed under the attribution non-commercial license, which means you can't use this in your game if you're gonna sell it on. And the next website is cc0textures.com. This website has materials, textures, 3D models, and backdrops. It's got pretty much anything you'd want. So this is a really good one to check out. Again, as of recording this, all of the textures on here are completely free. Next up is texturehaven.com, which again provides hundreds of textures as well as HDRIs, which are backgrounds for 3D models, which include all the lighting data to make it look as realistic as possible. But all of these textures look amazing. Most of them are free, but there are some paid ones, however, although I haven't come across any yet, so they're extremely rare. Then there's 3dtextures.me, which again provides hundreds of great free textures. After that we've got polygon.com, which has over 3,000 amazing photorealistic textures and materials. However, the majority of these cost money, and you have to buy credits to use as the currency on this website, but there are some free ones on here too. Then there's gumroad.com, which has tons of free amazing textures, materials, models and more. Up now is renderman.pixar.com, which as the URL dictates, this contains 128 free repeating textures used by Pixar, the great animators now owned by Disney. Now it's Texture Ninja, which contains some free, but some paid for, impressive textures. Then there's textures.com, which has loads of photorealistic textures from 3D scan materials as well as 3D models. Some of these are free, some of them are paid for. Now there's BlendSwap, which has lots of remarkable 3D models created in Blender by other users. A subscription is asked for, but not required. Similarly, we've got TurboSquid.com, which provides hundreds of grand 3D models and texture maps. The models range from vehicles to characters and animals and many more. After that, we've got Free3D.com, which has loads of free 3D models for various software such as Blender, 3ds Max, Maya and many more. It also has rigged and animated models for you to use, although despite the URL having free in it, not all of these models are free. Some are, but most are paid for. Now we've got nasa3d.art, which as you may be able to tell is the official NASA website. They've released tons of free 3D models of their spacecrafts and rovers, satellites and even natural satellites, i.e. meteors. And they've also released all of their images for free for commercial use as well. Just go to the left here and click images and textures. Also we've got defont.com which is full of hundreds of great free fonts to use in your game, 3D model, Photoshop document or even on Word. And as you can see from up here, they have a wide variety of options. Now finally, there's also 3dmodelhaven.com, which has tons of fantastic free 3D models for commercial use. I definitely recommend checking this one out. Now 
Now for some online generators. First up is a free map generator. This just creates at random a completely new map for you to create in your game. This one is really helpful if you're stuck or looking for inspiration as a level designer. And you can also change loads of the settings too to get the perfect map for you. So you have an option, so you can change the seed, the name, the template of it. So let's pick archipelago, state, change the amount of states, the provinces ratio, size, growth rate, and then let's just hit new map. Let's see what this one looks like. So there you go, looks quite good. And you can just keep hitting new map as many times as you want until you get the map that you'd like to use. Let's hit volcano. As you can see, this is great for inspiration. Now it's a free skybox generator, which again is really helpful as it gives you random, really cool looking skyboxes. So you hit randomize seed and you get those different ones. And these you can just use in your game engine to create the sky around your game. Next up is a free nebula sky creator where you have more control over how it looks. You can choose a color and drag it out like so. The longer it is one place, the stronger the color. So I just hold it there, obviously it gets stronger. If I just drag it out lightly, it's not as strong. And you have loads of colors in the top left for you to just choose whatever you want. So this gives you a lot more freedom of how you want the skybox to look. So as you can tell, you don't need an art style, you can just very quickly and easily make a really cool looking skybox. Next up is a really cool village generator. So again, if you need inspiration on how to lay out a village in your game or 3D model, just go onto this itch.io users page and refresh it until you find the one you like. You go down here, enter is to create a new village, S to toggle visual style, and T for visibility. So we refresh the page and we get loads of different villages. There we go, it's a bigger one. Now it's an Adobe site which picks out colors in the color wheel which go well together. So if I just pick a nice green here, it chooses all the ones that complement each other. Or purple, all the colors that go really well together. And this is helpful if you're trying to make a nice graphic design but you don't know which colors to choose. Finally, it's the posted database, which is less a generator but more for inspiration purposes. It has over 55,000 movie and game posters. So if you need inspiration for an in-game poster or you want to just make a poster graphic design or for advertising or whatever you want, this is a good place to look for inspiration. So that will be it. This is my list of some of the best free and partially free software, textures and websites for game designs, graphic designers and 3D modeling. Again, always make sure to double check the licensing before you use it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and like the video down below. And I'll see you in the next one.